Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. In this video, I'm going to go over uh, the last hike I did on my two month uh, trip around New Zealand. Uh, join me as I go over one of the most picturesque uh, hikes in all of New Zealand. While doing the restart track, a few people mentioned a hike in the Nelson Lakes National Park on the South Island. It wasn't on my hiking radar at all, but I'm very glad I went out there. I didn't have a lot of time, but I did the overnight hike to Angelus Hut. This hike is called the Robert Ridge Route, and it ends at the Angelus Hut. I think you should consider doing this hike because of it being a ridge hike. For miles and miles, you just get incredible 360 degree views of the National Park. I planned to camp at the hut, so I hopped on the dock website and booked a campsite. The cost was 15 New Zealand dollars. If I remember right, there were around six to eight campsites. The hike is 7.1 miles from the car park to the hut. I added a side trip up to the top of Angelus Peak and then follow the same trail back to the car park. This is one of the most dangerous hikes in New Zealand, so I recommend checking in with the visitor center to inquire about the weather forecast and trail conditions. I was very happy to have my sun hoodie because with this being a ridge hike, sun exposure is an issue. Also, it was still cold even though I hiked this in the summertime, so good idea to have cold weather gear. As a side note, I saw this plant on the trail and thought it was really neat. It is called vegetable sheep or Hastia pulvinaris and is endemic to the South Island. Okay guys, now I'm going to use all trails to go over a few things uh, additionally about this one. So the visitor center is right around here. You then drive a little bit further on 63 and turn uh, on to Mount Robert Road. Drive maybe uh, five to ten minutes right to over here. There's two car parks. One here, this is where I parked, but you can go to drive up a little further. There's also another car park here. The trail starts off and immediately you have quite a bit of elevation uh, gain. Uh, I think it was about the first mile and a half. Uh, it's up just a little over 1,700 feet in elevation gain. Uh, and then uh, from there, if I remember right, right around here, there's another. there's a sign that says Basically like that, that was the easy part. Uh, you know, see how you're feeling, if you want to continue, that sort of thing. Um, but as you can see here from, from all trails being, like I mentioned, a, a ridge hike, you get really just incredible views um, all around here. Um, so anyways, as you consider continue here on the trail, uh, you just keep climbing, climbing. Eventually you start going down a bit here though. I think this right around here is probably some of the, the, the higher point uh, Then what I also like to mention When you're looking out too, you just get these incredible views with also these small little lakes uh, That you're walking by uh, and Then here is where the hut is and uh, you're, you're you're camping right right next to the, the lake here uh, and then so this is where the Angelus hut is right right there and there are these little other paths to take uh, like I mentioned I, I went up to the Angelus peak so that morning I took this little path up right here and made it to the top of Angelus peak um, unfortunately when I was here uh, there there was quite a bit of fog so I didn't have kind of the views I was hoping for uh, that morning from from this spot here um, but I do recommend making the trip up uh, it's, it's, it's worth it. it isn't that far as you can see here it is a challenging uh, walk up um, but I think even with the, the poor visibility I had it was it was still worth it um, and I'm going to show you a few other little, little things here. There, there are other trails to take as well, even though I went back the same way. I know you can, I believe, go down this way and around. Uh, I know, I think, pretty sure there's a trail also that, that, that would go this way also. Um, and you may even want to have, you know, quite a few nights in the, in the park. I know there's other trails uh, that you can take, so that might be something to look into if that interests you um, but that that uh, second day I got back or like probably early afternoon and then I made the drive um, this on this road to Blenheim 
uh, before heading uh, to Picton and that night I slept um, in Picton before taking the, the ferry back uh, to the North Island heading back to Wellington um, if we back out a little further before I started this hike uh, I was had, I had planned uh, to swim with dolphins uh, from this uh, sea, seaside town and uh, the weather was poor though um, so that was cancelled uh, money refunded that sort of thing and I made the drive that morning uh, to do the Nelson uh, Lakes hike and started that hike you know started it uh, I think around mid midday early afternoon something like that um, so anyways that kind of shows you a little bit more uh, as far as the geography of the north end of the, the South Island uh, this is uh, right over here, the Abel Tasman National Park. That's where I did the Abel Tasman uh, Great Walk, uh, maybe a prior, you know, maybe a month prior to, to hiking uh, Nelson Lakes. Um, but anyways, guys, that is what I wanted to show on all trails. I hope you consider doing this hike uh, during your vacation in New Zealand, and that this uh, video helped with the preparation. Uh, please consider hitting that like button and leaving a comment. It helps uh, with the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and take care.